Right, so today we're just going to do a quick setup guide for the Outpost Bandit Merged. It's available on rustcentral.co.uk and also Learn Design. Right, so once you've downloaded the prefab, you want to add it to your Rust Edit folder. So what we need to do is unzip the prefab that you've downloaded from the website and then go to your local disk C, Program Files, and then Rust Edit. Maybe somewhere else, depends where you've saved it on your computer, but this is the default location. So in the download file, we've got prefabs and vending mach vending profiles. So click on the prefab and drag everything from here into your custom prefabs folder. And then the same for the vending profile, but the stables one needs to go into the vending presets. You can see mine's just there already. All right, so once you've done that, if you go ahead and boot up Rust Edit, what we need to do now is replace this one with the new version. We go ahead and find it in your prefabs list and drag it out or double click on it. And now we need to line this up the best we can with the version that's already here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get it, it just means less work that you have to do tidying up. So I usually use this blue building here as a reference point. Now to be spot on. I think that should do for now. So if we go ahead and delete the original version, so if we click on it a couple of times, we'll say compound up there. If you just press delete on the keyboard, we'll get rid of it. All right at this point, what you'd usually do with a prefab is apply the modifiers down here, but in this case, we don't need to do that because it's using the same footprint as the original version. If you're placing this on a, a fresh new map and it's not replacing it, then not, by all means go ahead and use these. But in this case, we don't need to do that. So the next thing we need to do is click Break Prefab. Let's break it all down into its individual components. And if we go over here to the Stables, and then if we just go ahead and press H and bring up the hierarchy, you just search shopkeep right at the top there you should get a shopkeep vm invis go ahead and double click on that and then on the transform tool at the bottom it says use custom vending preset if you just tick the box and then change this from black market to stables all right so the next thing we need to do is connect up the subway entrance as you can see this one is pretty bare and if we go ahead and press g you'll notice it also has no icon on the map so this is just a it's just a placeholder um, for some reason I can't prefab the working version onto the actual outpost itself so this is just a placeholder so you know where to put it but the first thing we need to do is go to tools prefab tools replace selection and then select the target prefab if you search entrance and then go to entrance monument say and just double click on that and click replace confirm it and it'll bring in the working version you can see it's now got the icon on the map as well right, so I'll just press L to brighten things up a bit we just go underneath this and click on the first section of stairwell and then copy the rotation Y value, control C. And then if we go to this top piece and then just paste it into there with control V and press enter. Now in this occasion it's turned it to the side so I'll click this arrow here to bring it back around. You can do that as many times as you need, you can have it whichever way you want it to be. We'll just have it this way. Now. Now we just need to go ahead and click Snap to Tunnel Grid. All right, so on this occasion it's actually too high, so if we drag it down further than it needs to be and do it again, it'll be perfect. So that's that bit set up. We may also have a little bit of tidying up to do as well. If we go inside, you can see here that the terrain is kind of coming through. If we go to the Terrain Painter and switch the layer to Alpha, then we'll just and decrease the size down to one and we'll just get rid of that bit there as well the rest of it looks all right to me there is this entrance on the side as well so just make sure that that's also clear last of all we might also want to add the monument marker so we have the name of the prefab if we come to the middle and go to the prefab list we we'll search marker should see monument marker just underneath. Click and drag that out of the menu. And at the bottom of this menu that pops up, it says monument name. 
should be de decor by default. We should change this to merged outpost. We can change it to whatever you want really, but I'll just go with merged outpost for this example. Press G again, we can now see it's on the map. Now, when you're in game, you will also have the vending markers over the top of this, and they tend to be over the top of the text. What you might want to do is drag this down to the bottom of the prefab, just like that, so it makes it easier to read. Right, so that's everything set up. Um, if you need any more help with anything, feel free to join the Discord server. The link will be in the description. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.